Hey Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how you doing? Uh, let's get into your reading. My apologies for being late. My body says sit down, and I had to do it. Juggling too much, but I'm here. So, all right, let's see what's going on with you for September at this time. They want you to be consistent and uh, finish what you started with go to distance. And something needs to be removed, cleaned up, or polished in your life. And, and you are attracting something good, right? With the yin energy here. But what needs to get the hell out of your life or cleaned up or taken care of while this is coming towards you? Whatever you're attracting is helping you finish what you start. And, and, and another message is that I'm getting in. In order for something to sustain and be, you know, stable in your life, there's something that you need to get rid of. You could have started doing this and then you stopped. It's time to, like, really take care of business and keep it moving and keep progressing because you have something coming in that's, you know, you prayed for, you worked for, you're attracting it, and it looks good. And it's not, it's like whatever this is that needs to be cleaned up, it's really not, it's just holding space in your life in some kind of way. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's get into the tarot. Eight of Cups in reverse, Moon in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, like you have, you, you've you been working on something. You have been consistent. This could just be your stability with the Eight of Pentacles, but regardless, like you worked very hard and went through things to get the stability and to get things that you have. And you're so close, like you're two pinnacles away from having a 10, which is great. Either you keep going back to something that's not serving you after knowing, you know, what this thing, this person, this place is about. Or somebody is coming back to you with the same shit. Like if one of y'all is doing this, either you trying to do some, trying to get the same results by doing the same thing. Or somebody is coming back with the same bullshit, making promises that they can't keep with the King of Wands in reverse, as well as being so close to something and not having the confidence to see it through. Because the King of Wands in reverse is not only like a whole energy or like a, you know, manipulative energy. It could be somebody that just don't see the full potential in something or even if it's just themselves. Um, what the fuck is this? Okay, um... Let me see. Yeah, so it's making sense now. You got the Eight of Pentacles up here, upright, and you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Next to that is the Four of Pentacles. There is a person, place, a thing that is that's really sneaky and selfish, and they have their own strategy that has nothing to do with you. But I don't know whoever this King of Wands in reverse energy is. You could have not had the the the, the best pass with this person with the Six of Cups being in reverse. Possibly not speaking and not even expecting communication or some type of signal from this person to begin with. But they need you way more than you will ever need them. They showing up as the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're hoping that they can appear to bring something to the table. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is, but I got a feeling it's going to be very small and some shit that you can do or you're already doing for yourself. So I'm saying you being advised to move forward, continue to move forward. 
and learn how to be happy with yourself or make your own dreams come true instead of, you know, relying or taking the word of this person here because they're not going to be able to deliver what it is that you require. You being advised to hold back. This may be a reconciliation attempt for somebody, whether it's a friend or a lover or a family member. But also the other side, but one of the aspects to judgment is making the final damn choice. The finality of a decision that has to be made given the circumstances. So there is no way around this. Why is the judgment here? The emperor in reverse, four of cups in reverse. Somebody... You gave them enough rope so they can hang themselves, Libra. You gave them enough rope so they can hang themselves, and they did. They, <laughs> their ego is what's bringing them to you. They're, they're trying to finish whatever they're st they started within the, with regarding themselves, but why, and uh, they're trying to finish what they started solely regarding themselves. This don't have nothing to do with you. But they want to use your resources, your attention, something that you bring to the table in order to accomplish something that's, stro that's solely for them to benefit off of, not you. And you giving this person any leeway into your life is going to stop you from finishing what the fuck you need to be, uh, what you started. See what I'm saying? Mm -mm. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You going ass backwards. I don't care who they are. No. You got Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Passive, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Passive. How are the angels helping Libra right now? the angels and spirit guides helping Libra right now, someone rising in Venus the devil just popped out, I put it back in if it come out again, I'm going to know it's meant to come out and how are the angels helping Libra, how are Libra spirit guides helping them okay, let's see Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, the Sun, and the King of Wands upright. So the Knight of Cups talks about a revealing God, perception and revelation. You're going to discover some hidden information and uh, learn more about ideas that can help you make more money. And with the Ten of Swords, the Marvelous God, this talks about revelation, protecting you against sadness and giving revelations and dreams. So you will get some omens to back up, you know, this reading if it resonates or lets you know about this person place a thing and why you should not deal with it and then you have the sun which is restoration of life protection from adversities rabies and wild beasts so this is just on a physical and spiritual level here regardless to what comes they got you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet your physical body and your astral body you're protected uh, but you do have free will and somebody know them little soft spots to get you to turn that no into a yes now it's only so much that divine you know anybody can do because you have a choice and they want you to know that you are protected but try to steer clear and steer away from whoever this is because they want what's meant for you for themselves they're really not thinking about nobody but themselves king of wine king of wands the merciful judge eloquence and gives answers to those in doubt so there's no reason why you shouldn't get the omens get the messages from spirit and see the red flags and know how to move accordingly i'm telling you this person is going to need you more than you will ever need them and they're going to show you who the, how this person really is and why you need to clean them up get clean get the sweet day ass right up out your front door get them right up out your door Let me see. What are your angel answers? The first card that flipped over is let go. 
And what's the next card? Trust. And the next card is reconsider. What should they reconsider? So you are already thinking about doing something that you shouldn't do. Reconsider compromising with somebody. And be assertive and stand on this shit. Be assertive and stand on this and know that there's something better for you. Not this motherfucker right here. It's up to you, but they advising you not to stop with your plans. It's all about you, okay? Whoever that's struggling, that got left behind, this is how they're gonna learn. Not by you making a way, making an opportunity, or making some dumb shit make sense for this person to fuck them, okay? All right, lovely evening. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, Libra.